Creating a character on any production you watch depends heavily on their costumes and makeup. BYU TV's A Kind of Spark is no exception, but one of the show's unique challenges was creating a comfortable environment in which the autistic actors could work. Let's see how wardrobe and makeup designers contributed to telling this story. My name is Scott Langridge and I'm the costume designer of A Kind of Spark. So I worked very closely with the art department who built all the sets and obviously using that to make sure that our looks pop in front of their sets as well and obviously work with all the characters to give them their own characterization basically. Hi, I'm Alexandra Jackson and I am the hair and makeup designer for A Kind of Spark. This is the one. So I wanted them to all have really nice skin, really dewy skin, very like Instagram worthy, especially because Nina, who is one of our main characters, she is an Instagram influencer. Now this I can get behind. Nina, her colors are pinks and lime greens. She's our influencer, so she has lots of zingy little outfits, uh, reflect a bit of the 60s and 70s as well. Nina in particular, she would have influenced most of the characters. So for instance, Emily would have picked up certain colors. We used the same products on them to reflect each other. Nina would have done Addie's hair, which was one of the things that we liked as a crossover. Addie's main colour is yellow and purple, and yellow is a really important colour within the show, which links our, our autistic characters. Why don't we have some fun? With Kitty, she's like effortlessly cool, so we didn't want it to look like she made too much effort. I saw it first. Kitty, who's our kind of retro, funky character, so she's got blues and reds are her main colours. So my references for the 16th century were vast. I watched lots of documentaries, I read lots of books, and obviously did lots of research. I looked into all those kind of things, so for the shapes, the colours, the textures, the tones of the fabric. So we were able to pull in certain things from modern into the 16th century, which was a lot of fun, because normally on a period drama, you wouldn't necessarily use those products. So what we wanted to do was pull them together so it still looks like the same show. So for us, it was more about the hair and makeup reflecting the characters. I'm going to have to wear that, aren't I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we tried to make everything as authentic as possible. We tried to make things comfortable as well. Fabrics and textures trigger um, things within our cast. So we have to try lots of things on and make sure that our casts are all really comfortable with everything they're wearing. So yeah, there's a more care and obviously time to get into these costumes. Luckily, we've got a great team. So everyone kind of jumps in together. So it's been really nice. So if, if one character does take a bit longer, we have got a good team to kind of jump in and, and help with the times. And I just can't wait to see it all come together, to be honest. Join us for A Kind of Spark, a BYU TV production that celebrates the unique spark in all of us. Tune in or watch anytime with the free BYU TV app. Thanks for watching BYU TV Insider.